Good morning everyone, hope you're well, it's Mr Dix. So today we're going to make uh, sausage rolls. Going to go for a really good version, as it says we've got bacon in there, it's got some mustard in there, some sesame seeds on the top, a bit of onion, really simple, but this recipe actually you can adapt um, a lot, so you don't have to have the mustard or the sesame seeds or even the bacon. Um, as we go through, I can sort of explain some of the options, but first of all, we are going to fry the onion, so I'm just going to, to remind you how to do that. Just going to remind you how to do an onion. So the onion grows in the ground like this. That's the root. You don't need to touch the root at all. If you take this off, generally the onion will fall apart. So you take this part off. Remember using what's known as the claw grip. So you hold your hands like this. Hold on to the onion. Gentle story motion. Then with a flat bit, put that on the board. Again, cut through the root. What that then gives you is more coolness to peel. Right, now actually for this, we just need half an onion. Um, unless you like lots of onion, you can do a whole onion, but just gonna do half. All right, so let's peel it. Notice the root is still on. Now what we now do is you've got two options here. One option is that you literally stab, put the knife in near the back of the onion and pull down. All right, so near the back and pull down. With more experience, you can use the claw grip um, put, tuck your fingers under and put the knife in, but kind of pull down. So I'm cutting all the way through to the bottom, but not all the way to the back. So you can see that. All right, so still attached, but just cut. Now, if you want it nice and fine, put the knife flat. And again, you're controlling the knife, so don't never push a knife, you will saw. So gentle sawing motion, I'm gonna stop near the back. Again, a bit higher up, stop. All you now do, gentle, cut down, and what will happen is you will have nice, even, small pieces of onion. I've taught this way forever, really, but it's one of these things, if you learn it, you probably won't cut an onion any other way. All right, and if you go down, you just chop bits. There we go, and one nice pile of perfectly chopped onion. I'm now gonna fry these in a little bit of oil just until they're soft. So you'll see that in a second. While the onion's cooking, I'm just gonna get everything else for the filling ready. This recipe's got bacon in it. All right, and the bacon actually goes in raw because it cooks with the sausage meat. Now, just a few things. All right, so we're gonna cut the bacon. As it is raw meat, you can't eat bacon raw. You do use a red board. Now at home, it's unlikely you have a red board. You may do. Um, if you don't have one board for everything, which I know a lot of people um, do, you need to make sure you wash it after cutting raw meat. Really important, should cross contamination. All right, and then make sure you give the knife um, a wash as well, okay, with hot water and, uh, and detergent of some kind. Now, because this is going into the sausage roll raw, you don't want the fat in because that's just gonna still be, although cooked, it will be fatty. All right, so we wanna cut off um, the fat and we literally just want the meat. Now remember I said with the options, you don't have to have bacon in there, but it just is another texture, another flavor uh, with the pork sausage meat. Um, but it is nice. Now you actually want these quite small, don't big chunks of this. This just wants to be a flavor. So notice, I'm just gonna do strips, first of all. And then I'm gonna turn the strips this way and then just cut down. Now what we want is nice, small dice, That'll just give you a little burst of slightly, you know, different flavour when you're eating it. Now, as an alternative, if you don't want bacon, you could add some herbs into the mixture. You could add um, well, all kinds of different herbs, really, parsley, chives, all that kind of, all that, you know, kind of soft herb works, basil um, works. You could put more onion, less onion, spring onion, some garlic. You could actually grate an apple, which is quite nice, peel an apple, core it, grate it. If you do put an apple in it, make sure you squeeze some of the juice out, otherwise it gets a bit too wet. But there's loads of flavors you can um, add. In the bowl then, I have my sausage meat. Now I bought a pack of sausage meat, like a square of sausage meat. Um, and you can see it's got some herbs in there already, but you can just get sausages. And all you do with the sausages is if you peel the skin off the sausage, literally kind of cut um, just down the length of the sausage and then you'll see the skin will peel off. So you need six or eight sausages. You do need to get slightly better quality sausages and fat sausages, um, sort of butcher style. 
um, there are certain salts that don't peel very easily, like Richmond, for example, just don't really peel because they're more sort of like a mush inside. You want a meatier sausage if you can use just regular sausages, but take the skin off. Like I said, I've just got a pack. I've um, cut the onion. You want that soft, otherwise it won't, it's not going to cook in the sausage roll and you get crunchy bits of onion. And also um, I've got the bacon there as well. Now I need some seasoning, but if you are using bacon, remember the bacon is seasoned already um, because it's cured. All right, so I want a little bit of salt, don't, not too much. You, so, you want some pepper. So that's about a decent pinch of each, really. If you wanted some herbs, then now is the time to do it. And then all you do is you just mix up the mixture until it's one smooth mixture. If it's easier, you can get your hands in. Okay, so there we go. There's the mixture. What we're now gonna do is roll the pastry out. Now, when I went shopping yesterday, I could not find there was no pastry at all. So I bought a block of frozen puff pastry. This is puff pastry. There are certain things which obviously you could make at home, uh, like short crust pastry. Puff pastry you can make, but it's okay, only okay if you've got sort of half a day to make it, really. As you can see there, but puff pastry has layers. It's called lamination, and that is quite a long process to actually make. It's a good few hours, not just making it, but you have to chill it um, in between kind of each roll, and it is a bit of a faff. And this is, you know, this product is pretty good. You can get you know, the, the famous one, or you can get um, them, or most of the supermarkets do their own brand. Okay, so we're gonna use this one. In a second, I'll show you how to roll this out, and then we can start making the sausage rolls. So let's now make the sausage roll. I need to roll the pastry out into an oblong. So I put some flour on the bottom, flour on the top with a rolling pin. Okay, now notice I'm gonna put my hands either side. I need it in an oblong um, kind of shape. Okay, so every time you roll, just give it a little move, just so you know it hasn't stuck on the bottom. If it does stick, not an issue, just put a bit more flour on the top or the bottom, but don't scrunch it up again because of the layers in the puff pastry. If you do scrunch it up, um, it just won't rise properly at all. Okay, so let's, we want an oblong. And it needs to be a consistent thickness all the way through, yeah? So the same thickness. Turn it around, you can make that a little bit fatter that way. Explain why in a minute. There we go, Let's go slightly along this way. I don't know if you can see the thickness, but it is all fairly thin, you don't need too thick at all. If you buy the packet that's pre-rolled, you do need to um, roll that slightly because they roll it quite thick. Now I could have one massive sausage roll here, or I could have two. I'm actually gonna go for two, um, but I'm just gonna show you one just for time. So let's get rid of that just for the time being. Right, as we said, this is the ultimate um, sausage roll. So it's a bit more flavoring. We're just gonna add some mustard. Don't go mental, because otherwise it would just taste of mustard. You don't have to have this, remember, this is purely optional. But there's a little bit of mustard. What we're now gonna do is put our meat mixture. Here we go. Make a sausage shape and put that just along the middle. Now be mindful that you need enough pastry so it will go right over. Okay, so don't have it too thick unless you have a larger piece of pastry. That's probably okay. Okay, I can use those other bits later. What we now need to do I've just got an egg in the jug. Let's whisk that up. The egg is gonna do two things. The egg will seal this, but also we're gonna brush it over the top as well. So there we go, some egg. Let's brush that here, along here. All we then do is we fold A onto B, if that makes sense. So I'll do it this way. We wanna make sure that the two pastry edges meet, all right? That is obviously important, otherwise it will unwrap uh, when it bakes. Okay, so you can use a fork uh, to kind of fork it. I'm not actually going to, but use a fork. Now you wanna keep it nice 
and tight. So put your hand down like this. Now as you see, there's a little bit of excess pastry there. You can leave that, that's fine. But if you want it all nice and neat, just pull this down. There we go. Right. What we're now going to do is use the egg again, just to brush on the top, all over. Didn't actually affect the flavor particularly, but it does make it look, look much nicer. And we're gonna put sesame seeds on the top so that'll make them stick. If you haven't got sesame seeds or allergic or whatever, you can use poppy seeds or use none at all. You just use nothing, you use it as it is. So I sprinkle some over, gives it a nice kind of nutty uh, flavor sesame seeds. Just an added dimension, if you like flavor dimension. So, baking paper, you do need a tray because um, when they cook, the oil comes out of the sausage meat and can, so if it's, you know, if you've got a baking tray, it can stick and it can be difficult getting off and difficult to clean the baking tray and what have you. So, I would definitely recommend you have some uh, baking parchment or baking paper. Right, you then have another decision to make. Are you gonna have big ones, small ones? What, you know, whatever. So let's trim that end so it's nice and neat. I'm just gonna go fairly standard. All right, so there. I've turned my oven on, and the oven is on 180, which is gas mark four. If you're never quite sure of what temperature to put things on, 180 is a pretty good uh, standard, really, just to put things on. Right, so we're gonna put these on our baking tray. Move this over. Oops. These will rise, but won't particularly spread. But that said, you do need to make sure um, that not actually touching. All right, so you can see, hopefully nice and even shape, all sealed, all nice and filled as well. The oven is hot. Okay, so there we go. These will go in for around 25 minutes because there's quite a lot of sausage meat there. So you need time to cook and the pastry to cook. Right, so 25 minutes, we'll take them out and we can have a look. So these have been 25 minutes in the oven. All done, as you can see, nice and crispy. This one's escaping, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna put them on a plate. But as you can see, you just can't buy this type um, of sausage roll in the supermarket. Doesn't happen. You'll find these absolutely amazing. And again, as I said, the varieties are absolutely endless. I'll leave those off actually, I can eat them. Um, so the variety is endless, a million times better than anything that you would ever buy. Go and make them. Um, I want to see pictures if you do make them. So remember, it's cooking with Mr. Dix at gmail.com. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel and the Instagram. And later on in the week, I'll be making Jeremy Dodgers as voted. So hope to see you all soon in the flesh, not just on video. If you have any ideas or suggestions for what you want to see, um, then let me know. See you all soon. Bye.